Well, hello, guys. Hello. Today has been an experience like no other. Welcome to Nichols Retired Empire. That is a pretty red fish. I'm glad to see him because I got a late start. I'm fishing in the afternoon, which is not what I normally do. But we had some visitors, so I decided I'd fish this evening. So I went to get some shrimp, and of course everybody was closed. It closed early today for some reason or another. And so uh, I thought, you know what? Hey, that's okay. That's okay. I'll just uh, throw my net. So, anyway, threw my net, threw my net, and I got four big old mullet too. So I thought, well, I'll cut these mullet up, which is what I got on now. Something's just knocking the crap out of it. Either it's too little to get it. Oh, this one's got it. Oh, man. Little pinfish. Uh, but anyway, so I finally managed to scrounge up enough shrimp together to fish with. It rained on me. I got wet. My britches are about to fall off. Can't keep them on. A lot going on, guys. It's a lot. That's a lot to take in, isn't it? Well, didn't expect that right here. We got a flounder. I bet he's a little guy. Pretty fish. Pretty little fish. A lot of shells out there. This is a really, really, really rough place to uh, fish with something on the bottom, but man, they sure do like that right here in this spot. So, you just have to understand you're gonna have a lot of break-offs. that that's a good redfish Another good one. Let's get a good close up of that. Pretty guy. Had on something good, and then a shark ate it and broke my. Oh Lord! All right, guys, we are Paul. Paul. I'm just like Chris. Paul has got a new trolling motor. Trolling motor on the front of his new boat. <laughs> I had to buy a new boat. We had to catch it. I had to buy a new boat to get a trolling motor. Yeah. But, you know. 21 feet. We're well, going to call it 21 feet. You should never have touched my controller. And uh, we are going to fish today. And today has started off even better than how we normally. I don't know why. I've just given up on the idea that I'm just going to walk out here, buy some bait, launch my boat, and start fishing. That's not going to happen in, in America today. 
So uh, we're going to get started. We're going to see what we catch today on Nichols Retirement Empire. Here we go. You're probably not going to hear anything because the wind decided. Are you kidding me? The shuttle motor's not working because I touched it. But we'll, we'll work it out. Well, guys, me and Paul, we're going to show you today. Today's going to be a mangrove fishing day. And the reason it is is because that's what we're catching yeah. right now. So this is going to be a mangrove fishing video. Because for one, the wind is blowing 75 miles an hour, maybe. Show them your mangrove snapper. I'm sorry, here. There's people out there, they desperately need. So anyway, we are, uh, that's what's happening right now. You know, I've been watching all these videos, Paul. Yeah. And, uh, you, Paul, you there? Yeah, Paul. I'm here. And uh, these guys, they keep doing all these challenges. You know, like the guy, you know, the guy that catches the biggest fish. You know, the other guy has to do this. If you don't, you know, whoever wins. It's always some kind of weird thing. Yes. And I was watching one of them. And they were like, the guy that catches the smallest fish has to uh, grow a mullet. Oh, really? <laughs> I was thinking, you know, me and Paul could do a challenge, you know, where the guy, you know, the loser has to grow a mullet. But then I thought, you know what? That'd be hard for you. And I mean, we're just as competitive as the next group of retired guys. Sure. And uh, I got a good one here, Paul. This may be a sheep's head. But anyway, I was thinking, you know what? If I had to grow a mullet, I mean, I'd look like Benjamin Franklin. Oh, okay. I've got a fish. Oh, I got a, a bait. What do you got? Yeah, that, I got that. Oh, yeah. We got a good sheep right here. Hold on a second. All right. I mean, I was trying to talk about how if I grew a mold, I would look like Benjamin Franklin. Like who? Benjamin Franklin. Oh, yeah. yeah he's the original. They thought it was Billy Ray Cyrus. What? They started the mullet, but it really was Benjamin Franklin. Man. Mm. How you got a fish to clean? Yeah! Look at his tail's almost gone. He's been a lot bigger. His tail's a lot bigger. Let's try it. Smaller. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut my line, guys. But that's a fine, it's a fine piece of equipment. It is fat. Nothing against fat fish. Short yeah. and fat. Look how flat it's pretty good. That's Thick. Good thing. Look that fish is. Oh, oh ah. That's a mangrove. Mangrove. I'm using my towel because I'm putting them in the live well. So I don't care if I get the slime off of them or not. Because it'll be easier for me to fillet them. Ta-da! We're catching fish on my new boat. My trolling motor just magically started working. You made it happen. I did what Chris told me to do. He said take the battery out of my controller. Turn it off. Turn it off. Unplug it. Unplug it. Take the battery out. And I did that, put the battery back in, and I hit anchor on my trolling motor and it's, it's working. It's like a miracle. I rarely listen to what Chris says, but this time it worked. Yeah, I'm, I don't have a good track record when it comes to fixing things. I can fix supper. He can fix supper now. He's a good supper fixer. But fixing mechanical, Items that are mechanical parts. So you don't even know stuff. mechanical items with mechanical parts. Yeah. It's, it's, he does have a flounder and a pretty good one. Wow. Everything hurts. You <laughs> guys, you may be wondering what's happened the whole there rest, he is. the rest of the day. Here? Yeah. Flounder. And maybe that wasn't. We're not even on camera. We're just back here talking. Here, guys, I'll move up here. Give you guys a little something to look at. Yeah, I got to cut this. Anyway, it's not been a particularly good day. I mean, it is a good day. We got four fish. Now we got five. I mean, it's a good day. But it's not, it's not a great day. A good day. Oh. Has 
so a sheep's head what that's a sheep head something's happening Telling here, Chris. Is it a redfish? The way it hit, it's probably a red. Nope. Another sheep's head. Another sheep's head. Damn, we don't know what's going on, dude. What is happening here? That's a nice fish, though. See? See, folks? We're not having a good day uh, mentally, but we're catching some fish. It's one of those stressful days of fishing, and Chris is untangling his line as I'm talking. I'm Sheep's head, you think? Yeah. No, the big one. Really? You need the net? Probably. Okay. I don't know if I need it or not, but I don't want to lose them. You're uh, turning the road. Up. You catch them in the same spot every time? Right in the lip, yep. No! Oh! Oh, that was a good one, Paul! From the people and you're hiding your spot. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. We're flowing that way, so I'm just gonna You still got my line, man. Right? Yeah, you do. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Oh, this makes the video worth it. Just, just that, Hopefully just that. Just, yeah, it's what happened right now. This is the whole. That's what it's all about. This is how. This is what really happens, folks. This is real professional fishing, folks. Uh -oh. Also catching fish while I'm over here. You really do have a fish. Why am I surprised? Oh, flounder! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, 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 that was a big one! I was getting the nip, huh? Oh, oh, you just shoot. couldn't. I couldn't wait. I think you could have. Folks! <laughs> that was all on me. That was not on Chris. Uh, I tried to muscle that big old flounder in the boat. Well, it worked the first time. So. Oh! Well, you can see I'm sitting here with my arms crossed, no longer fishing, because we are finished fishing. Finished. We are done. Uh, it was a kind of a grind, but actually, in the end, Paul ended up with some fish that he could put in the live well and eat. So that's good. Uh, I started off pretty good, then I went downhill, and maybe I'll put some video from the prior trip that I did where I caught a couple of redfish and then just that was it and then uh, we'll throw that in here with me and Paul today we'll piece together some kind of a, a scrap quilt kind of a but it's nice to be on Paul's U-boat